one of the molecules in your body that must interact with both water and with fats is a membrane protein. So proteins are really interesting because they're made up of hydrophobic and hydrophilic bits. And somehow they have to fold into the right conformation in order to work in your body. The same thing happens with membranes. They have a hydrophilic or water loving surface and a hydrophobic interior. But proteins have to actually fit into this hydrophobic yet interact with the hydrophilic part of a membrane. There are many theories about how this occurs. So how molecules actually interact with both. On the atomic level, this is really important because hydrogen bonds can form between water and molecules, whereas hydrogen bonds don't form between molecules and things that don't like water, so hydrophobic regions. So there's a multiplicity of theories, but there's very few experiments that actually probe this directly in solution. And all biology happens in solution. Because we wanted to understand on the atomic level how hydrophobic and hydrophilic surfaces interact with each other, we chose to look at a molecule called indole. Indole is really important because it's thought to anchor membrane proteins right at that region where the hydrophobic and hydrophilic bits are in contact with each other. Experimentally, to look at indole on the atomic scale, we use neutron diffraction. Neutron diffraction is a fantastic technique because it allows you to look at hydrogen bonds. So you're actually looking down on the molecular level at how water interacts with different molecules or how water even avoids different molecules. So the hydrophobic regions are also easy to see because sometimes they can be closer or farther away than the molecule that you're looking at. However, the information you get from neutron diffraction is a lot. So, it's very, so you get much, much, much details of all these atomic interactions. So in addition, we also use computation. Now we use this sort of computation called empirical potential structural refinement. And what this does is it allows us to build a model of the thing that we're measuring. But really importantly, the model is constrained by the experimental data so that you know that you're building something in a box that's physically realistic. So what we found is that indole, which is flat, actually interacts more with water. So water-hydrogen bonds almost form between the ring and, and also the methanol water OH group interacts with the indole more than the methyl groups which are further away. So the hydrophobic regions are further away, the hydrophilic regions are closer to the indole molecule. Now this is very exciting because we thought it would be the opposite. Now we think we know how tryptophan can align in membranes, so we think it's right at the surface where it can interact flat with the water molecules coming down this way. The other reason why it's exciting is it goes against many theories about how these things work on the atomic scale. So the hydrophobic effect, which is one of the more popular theories about how hydrophobic molecules were sequestered into hydrophobic regions, actually we see the opposite. So this is very exciting when you do this in science because it allows you to expand on existing theories or even overturn theories and come up with new ones. We do need to do many more tests before we're prepared to do this, but this is how the exciting part of our study and how it moves science forward. Music